Hi guys, how you doing? I just thought, uh, I was watching uh, Sinbad and the Breakfast Club. And uh, it's true. I'm going to be like this guy right here. Uh, I'm truthful. That's why my family can't stand me is because I'll call them out. And, uh, you know, about the molestation in the family and... Why would you put me in with a 11 year old girl when I'm nine? When you know what happened to her when she was a little kid? Why would you put a boy in with a girl like that, sleeping? As, you know, separated us in the bedrooms. It was like four boys, two girls on my cousin's side, you know, but crazy. Didn't understand none of that. Anyway, this is Sinbad, guys. We'll watch him a little bit. Pretty funny. He's not dead, guys. It's called woman fighting. There's a way to get a woman when she's hitting you. And there's that moment like this. You hit me one more time. There is that moment once you hit a man. If you hit me one more time. There's that real moment. I'm going to knock you straight out. That moment she's clocked you, hit you in a chair, that those things. Up. There's that look. You're like, look here. I do not want to hit me. And that's the big thing. If you hit me one more time, you can't keep punching people in the face. You can't throw things and hit people over the head with stuff. And expect that for no. the person not to react. No, I'm, I'm, you know, my thing is this. You can't do that man hit, but I can do that. You can do that. I, I, I'm, I'm going to get you off me. It's like that. It's <laughs> comedy. A rib shot. I'm going to yeah, I'm I'm, I'm get you off me. But that's the only, that's the only time. Even that one's a hard. A full Nelson. No, it's, you probably was a little woman. You should have been. Most of the time True though. There was a woman you saw this coming for a long time. Ha. Had a big booty, has a big uh, breast. She loved her. I was attracted to women like that, guys. They used to beat me up. You like the sex. If not, look at my record. Every time it says I went to jail for domestic violence, it's because they were beating me up, guys. Yeah, we look good. The physical outweighs everything else. But but that makes a person ugly. If they really have a Terrible, nasty attitude. No, no. Not when they're not. Not when you're 15 and they're 22. That's That was the age, guys. You're looking at your shoes on the floor. I got to get out of here. Yes, I can. Now, did you see Stay Out of Compton? Yes, I did. Did you think about that movie? First of all, the way that movie was shot, the way it was done, I mean, it was one of the best. I mean, they took their time casting. They took their time. It was a great movie. It showed. Really, the beginning rap was West Coast rap. Now, East Coast, but show the beginning of West Coast rap. I think when they took the hit was, they didn't show everything. They, did, they didn't show, like you say, some of the stuff was not fun. It was it's two bad. hours to do it. Two hours and a half. But you know what? That's why I've had you for taking some of for this. Because yeah. I believe you got to show the ugly. Because yeah. I always believe I when you're doing something, show all of it. They made up dreams like superheroes. Show some of the flaws, man. You know, and, and it, it, this, if you show flaws, and they're going to show it. Show the flaws. Mm -hmm. Show everything so people say, here's, you know, say, this is the story. You know, this is the story. I don't have to give you everything, but I gotta give you something jacked up. I gotta give you something jacked up. James Brown showed the jacked upness of oh, James right. Brown. You know, the other what he did with Bobby, man, and how he turned on his friend, and you gotta show that. The people grow. Mm -hmm. Yes. Jerry was 20, let me go in a while. You're allowed to grow, but you don't have to hide. I always say a lot of times, I said before, a lot of times we rap. Don't, don't hide. hide. That's you why know, I'm gonna be famous, guys. We hide, but we it's do. another reason not to, you know, and Go hide. Now we reach a certain point. You're like, I, I did do this. And I need to apologize. Yeah, I'm sorry for all I did, guys. Yo, we all do dumb stuff. They nailed me to the wall. Well, that's after she, that's when, you know, after D called out and everything. There was some pressure there. There was some pressure there. There was a lot of pressure. Yeah. Now, well, let's talk about that a little bit because obviously we were looking at the podcast with Bill Cad about Bill Cad. And he was very instrumental in your career early. Yes. On, you know, and you have spoken out about Bill Cosby. Well, last time you was up here, right? About Bill yeah. And last time you were up here as well. So your <coughs> is still. You know what? I don't know where this one goes. It's a hard. You know what the hardest thing is? I'm watching this thing. He was lost three hours already. I mean, college they never took it from anybody. Mm -hmm. With everything they've done, I said, I just see this man's legacy about to. I think it's about to go away. They're not, it's going to just be. And the point was to destroy it. And I'm like. Jesus, man. Because you know what happens? He hasn't given that definitive interview yet. You know right. what I'm saying? That, that definitive, whether this is what some of this will happen, this, there hasn't been that one definitive interview. <coughs> you don't want to feel like that. That's like you and that's what, that's what, that's what, that's what
Because, yeah. yeah. Ka- you know, for Cosby could be like, you know what, <coughs> I couldn't get these women off of me. So I had to give them Ridley. I've said this on stage. But, not that I'd be right, but at least he would tell the truth. Ever came forward and said, that was my daughter, this was my wife, this was my girlfriend. I said, because women, women are aggressive, so, especially so gold digging like women. One girl actually said he played for her college and she got her masters. I said, So your dad, so if this went down, your dad was okay with Bill Cosby paying for your, your education. Well, maybe with the something that she hadn't told him? No, I know. No way. It's, it's, you know, a lot of girls do conceal it though. Yeah, they, they do conceal it. Because they're embarrassed. But they even now, okay, okay, you're saying it now. And I'm, I'm, if I found out now, I can say, woman said, well, some dad, what would have been your daughter? I said, well, we would be having a conversation. Now, would that been my daughter? I found out. Me and Bill would have work. Mm-hmm. You know, so that's why I'm like this. I'm looking, I just do. I just, you know, it's breaking my heart. Yeah. It's breaking my heart. David Williams is up here. David Williams, uh, he was defending Bill. I mean, he said that, you know, for all the girls that were really raped by Bill, he apologized yep. to them. But he said some of the girls were unrapeable. Yeah, but that's, we're looking at women old now. You know, I, I can't say, I don't think any woman's unrapeable. Guys, I mean, a rapist. No woman, no animal, no person, yeah, yeah, no yeah, 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 There's nothing that's not unrapeable. Nobody will find I'm not talking about Cosby. There's nothing that's not unrapeable. Any woman can get attacked. But I, I just like this. I think some women were in a position, you know, I'm like this. I tell my daughter, if you come to me and you say, I went to this party, I left with this cat, I didn't know him, I went to this room, I didn't want to start this. My first thing, you can't get raped. Why would you go with this cat? Why would you? That's and like that's part of the reason why true. people wouldn't want to so true. They might have made some foolish decisions along the way, and they don't want to say, man, this is my fault because I shouldn't have left it. It's never a fault. It's never, fault. It's it's never, never your fault. You're raped, like but it's your, your fault for not paying attention. You made it easy for you. Yeah. Don't well, trust I, nobody. I said that, man, I, call, I got robbed. This is what happened. Well, I was with these cats. They told me to beat them in the alley. I was counting my money. They look at you. No, nobody has a right to rob you, but damn, what were you... Won't be prepared to, the girl is 15. The problem I had, the girl is 15, the girl is 16, so they put the Playboy Mansion. Well, you can't get into the Playboy Mansion 15, 16, because the police and the FBI wanted you to help them. So he liked 18 year old girls. He loved 18, but under 18, he was going to prison. So you can't get it. So the two girls said, they're added to this match. And I'm not saying it's a lie, I'm just trying to. I've been there, I said, they're added to this match. A man 50 says, come meet me at the match. You're 15 or 16. Or a man 40. Yeah. And you come to the Playboy Mansion to meet a man 45, 50 years old. And then you got in, I'm like, what were you doing going to the Playboy match and following an older man? Huh. That's not victim blaming. It's just, no. You should not be in the Playboy match. Yeah, you true. Uh-huh. But then you look at somebody like Beverly Johnson, who looks at Bill Cosby yeah. as a mentor yes. type of person that she Yeah, see, Biz, Bill Cosby has no excuse for what he did. She thought she was going over there to get some advice from him. And he offered her a drink, she said no. And then he gave her an espresso, and the next thing she knew, she felt woozy, and she got out. But, I mean, she wasn't yep. in the wrong and that's situation. A, and that's, a hard, that's the story. That's the hard story. That's when you're like, just, damn. You know, it just... But sometimes a know. lot of people, actually a lot of women end up getting raped by somebody that they know. Well, that's just somebody it. That it, they it. Know. And then they cut it. Right. It's the one that do trust the cat that was cool. That's why you, you the guy you Watch trust all men, trust women. Trust don't matter if you oh, trust them or not. Your best friend. Right. I don't trust dude. You don't I'm like, dude, give me a drink. Dude, give me a drink. I'll put it right down. I don't trust anybody. So that's why I say, I'm... My senses are like this. I'm not, you're not catching me this way. Have you ever felt like somebody said something in your drink? Yeah. Stop on it. <laughs> 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 See, I don't drink. First of all, I don't drink No, I drink like that, but somebody, you ever felt like, oh, man, this is... It's Sinbad. And the breakfast club, guys. Later. Subscribe to my channel. All right, please. Uh, Doctor YouTube Timothy Tucker, XCon TV Timothy Tucker, Timothy Tucker, Tim Tucker. Have you? Thanks, guys. Later.